there are a new group of drugs in urothelial bladder cancer which are immune therapies. They work differently from chemotherapy. They work by boosting the immune system. They're known in broad terms as immune checkpoint inhibitors. Um, the drugs we use widely in bladder cancer are um, atezolizumab, uh, pembrolizumab, um, and juvalimab, nivolumab, and avalumab, five drugs um, uh, at different stages of approval, um, none approved in Europe, uh, two or maybe three in the near future approved in the United States. The way they work is different from chemotherapy because the cancers have developed a way of evading immune recognition and these drugs remove that process of evasion, essentially removing an immune protective coat to allow one's natural immune system to attack the cancer. And we've shown in bladder cancer that subsets of patients respond to therapy, go into long-term durable remissions, but also the drugs look well tolerated. We've also showed that in some settings, immune therapy can outperform what was previously the standard of care, chemotherapy. And that's the first time we've got new drugs in bladder cancer for a generation. The future is around trying to see if we can bring the drugs earlier in the disease setting, try and, dare I say, cure more patients with the drugs. We can do that by two or three different ways. We can try and identify which drugs, which patients respond better by measuring a biomarker. That biomarker is called PDL1. Or we can use the drugs in combination, either with chemotherapy or with, a, with other immune therapies. I suspect that we're actually only at the first chapter of three or four chapters to this story. And ultimately, it's possible or even likely that the drugs will move right in to the earlier setting where first diagnosis is occurring, maybe not even metastatic disease, and trying to prevent the cancer spreading or perhaps even prevent the need for, for procedures like radiotherapy, chemotherapy and cystectomy altogether. Clearly, there's a lot of hope in this area. There's no guarantee that this is going to work out the way we expect. But this is perhaps the biggest thing in bladder cancer from a systemic therapy perspective for a generation. And I think there is a lot of positive signals, a lot of hope that we may get good results in the near future.